All right, Mr. Sunfish, welcome to MSF. We got those aerial mines that we just got from the last mission. Some of these boys got some increases in their parameters. And we're looking all right right here. Let's check on our boys in Outer Ops. Let's see what Team Foxtrot has done. Team Foxtrot? Since when the hell do I send out Team Foxtrot? We got Team Alpha trying to do some business. Let's see what they did. Oh man, we lost the damn mech. But it looks like we won that battle. And we got five volunteers. That's what I'm talking about. We got some people to send to the to these units right here in MSF. So we got a couple of commandos. I think these are volunteers that I got in that recruit function. So let's send them to where they need to be. We got a gorilla. Even though his highest rank is in the mess hall and the R&D team. Uh, I'm going to put you in the trade waiting room. Alright, let's see what else we got here. We got a commando. Get you up in there. Medic. Ah, cha -cha -cha -cha. Spy, an industrial spy. Let's put those two into the intel team. Nurse, an industrial spy, and a doctor. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of good soldiers for teams that need development, like the intel team and the medical team. So that's exactly what I need. I'm pretty full. I'm actually full on the R&D team and the combat team, and I need to get rid of some people from the combat team. So I really don't need those guys so much. I just need guys with higher ranks in those teams. You're fired. And we're finally starting to get some more soldiers for the medical team and the intel team. So that's a good thing. Let's get these mines that we just got in the last mission. Let's get those developed. And that's all we need as far as R&D is concerned. So I'm going to go get some volunteers from the recruit function, and then I'm going to go into Outer Ops and reorganize MSF, and then I will see y'all in the next mission. Alright, so the next mission for us to tackle is the Eliminate Enemy Soldiers mission, but I'm really having a problem that I did not get the S rank on this Fulton Recovery mission, especially since it's such an easy one. So I'm going to go back and do this and get this S rank on this mission, because it's, it's really bothering me. So we're going to make sure we got our proper guy. We're going to go with our boy. Uh, who's, the, who's the guy with the tweaker? He's the Chandler. We don't need any other gear. We're going to get this mission. I'm going to get this S rank. And then we're going to go on to the next mission that we haven't done. But I need to get this S rank. It's bothering me. What was that? Your current objective is to retrieve the prisoners. Alright, so I'm going to try to run through this mission and get this S rank as fast as I can. I know I said that already, but this time we're really going to do it. I think I wasted time going for those specs on the other side well those aerial design specs and I wasted time dealing with that guy so we're gonna try to just blaze through this mission and get that damn leaf camo and I kinda ended the video the last video that we did the part before this and I kinda just brushed it off but it really bothered me it bothered me all day today it bothered me when I finished that video so we're gonna get this S rank we're gonna get that leaf camo and then we're gonna go on to the next mission Don't move. <laughs> Don't move. Like when I came to get the guy in the back, I really didn't even need to do that if I was going for the S rank. And I didn't need to go out of my way to get those specs. And because I got the specs, I don't need to go back into those little uh, cubby holes or whatever you want to call them. All we need to do is take out these last two guys at the base of this fort. And then we'll be able to get the prisoner out of here and get this mission complete. You don't see a buddy down, sucker? Somebody there. Nope. Stop being nosy. Take your nap. Give my S rank. Stop playing around. All right, we should be able to just Watch get up it. here. There might be bombs planted next to those prisoners. And get this guy up out of here. And that's it. That's this mission. That's the way I should have did it the first time. Hey, that was great. Can't wait to see what else you can do. And that's extra ops 14 complete the right way, the S rank way this time. Hopefully we'll get our uh, leaf camo or splitter, one of the two. Okay, here we go. S rank, that's that victory music. One minute, 19 seconds. Definitely took a lot of time off the clock. We'll get that prisoner. And the leaf fatigues, all right, we got it. All right, so while things did change in Mother Base, I feel like that was a really short mission. So I'm gonna head straight back to the mission selector and do the next mission. All right, so let's get this next eliminate enemy soldier mission done. Let's get this mission started. 
Complete the mission and proceed to the Fulton recovery point so we can get you back alive and well. Good luck out there. Alright, so I'm going to use the same setup for this mission. Our boy Dweaker and the stealth setup. Let's get this done. So this is another pretty simple mission. All we got to do is trank these guys and put them to sleep. I don't remember if there are any special rewards that you get for S rank in this mission. But I am going to try to get the S rank. But this time I won't be so uh, so abrupt in going through this mission. I will try to see if I can get all the items in this area. I don't think there are any hidden items. But I do want to take some of these prisoners back. Well, some of these enemy soldiers back. You're a C rank. I'll take you. You're a C rank. I'll take you. Got that medium skill set. I'll take you, brother. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. You got to take out all the enemies in this area, and it's pretty simple to do. Unfortunately, with these guys on the top level, I probably should not use that loud ass Mosin Noggin. But with these guys on the top level, you cannot recruit them into MSF. Be well, I can't currently because I don't have the Carl Gustav rocket launcher that enables you to do so. So this boy's got to get him a trank right inside his brain. And then we'll move into this last area with the final four enemies. We're moving and grooving pretty well through this mission. Doing it pretty fast, if I do say so myself. I thought we was doing that for the last mission. I didn't get the S rank, so what the hell do I know? I know this boy needs to take his nap over here standing up like he's somebody. You ain't shit. Oh, actually he is. I'll take you. You getting kidnapped, sucker with your B rank. You got them skills that pay them bills. Don't turn around, you <laughs> fool. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Alright, so there are not many uh, special items in this area. The last two enemies are up here. And I think we gotta go to the back area to Fulton finish this recovery mission. recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. Don't move. You can also hold up dudes to neutralize them. Enemies close by. You ain't see nothing. I'm trying to ruin it. Head for the recovery zone. We'll pick you up there. That boy almost got me on the end. Good job. Return to base. Trying to give me that quick alert phase. How to slap you. That's why I left you there. I ain't even want to kidnap your punk ass. You don't need to kidnap those dudes. I could have did that even faster. Using the strategy I did in the first and the last mission. That Fulton recovery mission. Just blazing through the mission. But we still got it done in enough time to get that S rank. We've got a problem. Zadornov's not in his cell. What? He must have used his prosthetic as a blowtorch to cut through the bars. But we've managed to narrow down his location using a transmitter we planted on him. I'm adding a new mission. Find the KGB agent Zadornov. Vladimir Zadornov. Alright, so the RPG-7 has now been developed as well as the aerial mine. That's another good thing to have in your arsenal as far as if you're taking on helicopters and you want to use that. I never used that against the Chrysalis, but I assume that would be a good weapon against it. So let's check on our Outer Ops teams. Let's see what they've done. I think I only sent out Foxtrot team and they are victorious. All three members got increases in their ranks. So let's get this staff organized. We kidnapped a couple of suckers. This boy's a gorilla. These gorillas that I get, man, they just have weird skill sets. So I'm going to put you in the trade waiting room. I probably should put that boy into the intel team, but the skill set is messing with my head. You're a C rank, we'll put you there. You're a commando, but you ain't got no damn skills. Same with you, and you're a supply soldier. Yeah, we need you. We need you. We'll put you in that supply unit. That uh, mess hall team, rather. You need to go in R&D team. We got the N16 rank 3. You two suckers are bums, so we're getting rid of you. You're fired. And we also need to get rid of at least one guy from the combat unit. Shark Ray. You're fired. And we'll get rid of one dude from the R&D team, Mr. Kuko. You're gone, sucker. You're fired. So let's get started on the R&D for the M16 that we have. 
and the rank 2 of the aerial mine. And then we'll go into the recruit function, find some more volunteers, and I'll do another mission. Alright, so we do have two more extra ops. We have the date with pause and the LAP Type G battle, but I do want to get this Zdorn off first search mission done, so let's do this. Snake, Zdornov has escaped custody. Find him. I feel like chasing after the guy that just escaped your base is more of a priority than going on a date with Paz or fighting an LAV Type G. So we're gonna set up with our boy Big Boss. We're gonna use the sneaking suit to get through this area. I'm gonna put that most in the gun on because we ain't trying to tear people up. Not yet, at least. And I think this is a night mission, so we're gonna put some MVGs on. And we should be able to get started on this mission. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. Got that assassin box. Hopefully I remember to use that. Let's get this bad boy started. Find Zadornov and bring him back here with Fulton Recovery. Alright, so we're beginning the Outer Heaven chapter of Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Let's see what this guy got on him. Let's see if he's got the skills that pay the bills. Uh, yeah, I actually do need people for the medical team, so we'll take you, sucker. And with these Zadornov search missions, Zadornov's positioning in these missions are always random. So it's kind of important to check all of these areas. So if I would have went from the jungle to the ravine, he might be in Rio del Jade, or Rio del Jade. Why am I being an asshole and saying Hade? But he might be up in here in the Rio del Jade. So it's Pretty good hot. to check every single area. Huh. So if you find Zadornov, what you could do is you can... Oh, it's just a prisoner up here this time. And I think that's one of these special characters in this game. Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. Another uh, another medical team guys that will take him. I made mention of a bunch of special characters in this game. A bunch of veteran actors, rookie actors, and actresses. We already got the... Look at this sucker. Look at this sucker. Damn. Damn. This boy's playing hide and seek with your red glove. Get kicked. Kicked you right in the booty. Look at you, take your nap. Try using Fulton Recovery on him. See, what you can do is you can Fulton Recover Zadornov, and you can end the mission here. But I'm gonna go into each of these areas, and we're gonna get some enemies. For the recovery zone. We'll pick you up there. We're gonna get some more recruits for this mission. So this is the area where we gotta come back to to extract and a real Del Jade. But we're gonna go through this area, and I think there's a important weapon spec and we are finding some good soldiers for our unit so that's why I'm going to continue going through this area hopefully we don't raise any alerts so I can definitely end this mission here and I would get I think I'd get in that's right because we're going through this mission pretty damn fast but we're gonna continue to go into other areas and explore everything that this mission has to offer and that's basically what I was saying before Zadornov could be in any one of these areas in this mission from any of the El Senegal areas to the banal, the bananal, <laughs> god damn it, the bananal, fruta de oro, the sorting shed, he could be there, Wait, you ain't see nothing sucker, you ain't see nothing, you take one of these right in your chest, take your naps, I think there's a guy across, yeah we can see him, you gonna get right in your booty, you gonna get it right in your booty, right in your booty, go to sleep, go to sleep, take your nap, check in your booty baby. Oh, you're a C-rank in the combat unit. We will take you. And there, see, these are the specs I was talking about. The smoke grenade colored specs. I remember that those were in here. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to continue on in this area. And also to get some more of these good soldiers. So we're going to go into the ravine, the swamp. Then we're going to head into Banana Fruta de Oro. Because I think there's some more prisoners in here, some POWs. So it's good to get those guys as well because they, they always have those high ranks. And then we'll backtrack, come back here, and end the mission. We already got Zadornov. We could have ended the mission back when we picked him up. 
but uh, we're gonna go exploring. You ain't see nothing. You ain't see nothing. Take your naps. Let's see if you got the skills that pay the bills. You ain't a damn thing. Our mess hall team. Do I need one for the? I don't need any D ranks for the mess hall team. So I've been reading a whole lot about Metal Gear Solid Five, Ground Zeroes, and it says that they have a lot of elements from Peace Walker as far as building up Mother Base again. And we know that Mother Base gets destroyed in the Trojan Horse operation carried out by the XOF guys. So I'm kind of curious as to how these guys were able to pull that off when Big Boss is building a great unit like he's, well, well like I'm building. I don't know how everybody's saved goes. But Big Boss is amassing a pretty big unit of at least 350 people. Well, at most, rather. 350 people in his unit. So he's got a pretty big unit. I'm wondering how they're going to tell the story of how XOF destroyed Mother Base and put Big Boss in a coma. So I can't wait till MGS5 comes out. Definitely going to be doing a playthrough of that. I feel like I said that about a thousand times, both on YouTube, through the Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker walkthrough, and on Twitter. You ain't seen nothing. But people keep asking me, are you going to do a Metal Gear Solid 5 walkthrough? Of course, motherfucker. Why the hell you think I'm putting out these videos so damn hard? A, because I love this game. This game is like... I put it up there as one of my favorite games of all time. Metal Gear Solid. Definitely. Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Definitely like top five. Maybe even top three. I love this game. Might even be number one. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. So I'm going to save this last Fulton because I think we got at least one more there? prisoner in this area. I think a sucker spotted me on the other side of this gate. He'll be coming around that mountain when he comes. And then he'll get CQC'd when he comes. I'm going to put my hands on him and I'm going to whoop his ass. That boy will get CQC'd when he comes. It's like this sucker. Little preview, sucker. Alright, so I'm going to check that last hut. Let's see if I need this Fulton recovery. Here he comes. Look at him. He's going to check to see if I'm here. Doesn't even check to see if I'm right in front of his eyes. Or in his booty. With a stun rod. Alright, so let's see if this prisoner is up in this area. If not, we'll kidnap one of those last two guys. Yep, there's a prisoner. So I'm glad I saved that Fulton. We don't have any more, so we're going to head straight back. We're going to head straight back to the real Del Hade. The real Del Jade. Why do I keep saying it like a fucking asshole? I don't know, but we're going to head straight back to the real Del Jade. And we're going to finish this mission. We're definitely not going to get an S rank because the time is... Uh, I've been taking way too much time exploring taking suckers, and just having a good time playing Peace Walker. But we're probably not going to get that S rank. But I'm alright with that. We got everything we came here to get. Every one of my enemies are taking a nap, so we're free to just do some sprints through this area. I wish you could kind of take a shortcut over the swamp, but I guess you can't walk through it. I remember Amanda talking about alligators or sharks being in the swamp. She might not have been talking about El Senegal, but I do remember a codec of her talking about sharks. No, that was the real Del Juan. That's the real Del Juan. She was talking about the real Del Juan. The Juan River. That had the uh, sharks in it that she warned Big Boss about. Alright, so we're going to make our way back to the real Del Jade. And we're going to get this mission done. I think we got two more areas to go through. Once we head back into the swamp, we should be able to get back to Real Deal Jade. Yeah, two more areas. And then we'll be done with this mission. Pretty easy mission. We got everything that we came here to get. Those specs were uh, pretty important to me. I did want to get those specs. I remembered that we had something in this area. I completely forgot about that special POW, though. That I think he's the veteran actor. I think he's the veteran voice actor. And then we got the rookie voice actor left because we already got the actress. And that will be the last special character. And I think you get a trophy after getting him. This boy's still taking his nap over here. Scared to death. Scared to death. You did it. Keep it up. Alright, so that's the Zordornov search mission complete. This boy was playing hide and go seek and Big Boss found his punk ass. Alright, so like I said, I didn't think I was going to get that S rank. I took a while. I took my time. I took my sweet time 
getting this mission, but I will take that A rank. And we did get the Stealth Master C insignia. So that's good. We got some soldiers and some prisoners. And the Soliton radar specs. <laughs> so, you found me. It wasn't hard. What are you up to anyway? Just going for a stroll. Kaz, I've got Zadordov returning home. Acknowledge, Snake. Alright, so we got those smoke grenades and that Soliton radar ready for development. We just got the specs for those both in that last mission. Five of those guys that we kidnapped are salty. It's too damn bad. They'll join the unit eventually. So let's check on our auto ops teams. I think I sent maybe two or three teams out, so let's see how they did. Only one guy got increases in the parameters. I sent eight guys out into that damn unit. What the hell went on there? I said I was Team Charlie. Let's see about Team Alpha. Two guys got increases. One guy got PTSD. And let's see what's going on with Team Bravo. Team Bravo is victorious. All right, so we got a couple of volunteers. Alderops is looking very good. We got some staff from the last mission and from Alderops, so let's see where we can place these guys. Uh, we got a couple of commandos. That's the voice actor, the new voice actor. So I kept calling him Rookie. He's the new voice actor. I'm gonna put him into the intel team and now all we need is the veteran voice actor and that's the last special character for that trophy to get them all all right so we got a couple of medics i remember kidnapping you suckers from that last mission i had a reason for it are oh, you a voice actor too huh huh i don't know which one is which I don't know what the hell happened right there. I'm confused. That kind of threw me off. I thought I only kidnapped one guy. Sometimes I do things in this game so many times that I don't know what the hell is going on. That I'm easily confused sometimes. Alright, so let me just check. It's going to bother me. It's really going to bother me. So which one of you suckers are the voice actor? So this is the new voice actor. This is the special character. But another one of these spies had the voice actor skill. Jaguar. No, that's the actors. Huh. It's throwing me off. It's really annoying me, too. Alright, so he was the industrial spy. Alright, so this guy... I can't remember what the fuck. Okay, so Wagtail's a special character. He's the new voice actor. The other guy was a B rank, but he's still an industrial spy. So it just so happens that he had the same skill as the special character. So that's what's going on. That confused me for a good minute. Let's get these smoke grenades developed and that soliton radar developed. And we'll use it on a different mission. So we're pretty much set up here at MSF. I'm going to see if I can get some volunteers in the recruit function. Then I'm going to see y'all in the next mission. Alright, so we do have the date with pause mission and the LAV type G mission. But I do want to do this fault and recovery mission first. Let's get this mission started. Complete the mission and proceed to the Fulton recovery point so we can get you back alive and well. Good luck out there. All right, so I got a couple of briefing files I want to go over. Let's talk to Paz. And let's talk to Paz about Professor Galvez. Professor Galvez was a KGB spy? I thought he helped me out of genuine concern for Costa Rica's future. You didn't know. How could I? Believe me, Snake. He introduced himself as a peace researcher at the university. He had an office and credentials and everything. They're masters at creating cover personas. They think of everything. ID papers, jobs, sometimes even families. Don't feel bad you didn't see through it. But you did? From the first time we met. I wish you had told me. Sorry. I didn't know if it'd be right. You might have gotten mixed up in things you shouldn't. That is impressive, though. Sizing him up at a single glance. He reeked. Reeked? He had this unmistakable air about him. The air of someone who's been given a mission and will see it through no matter what. Like me. I could 
Just smell it. Nice, amazing snake. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was his prosthetic hand. Why would a professor from a peace university need a tool for assassination? <gasps> Alright, and now let's talk to Chico. That boy is in love. <sighs> hey, what's with all this sighing? You're not your usual self. Oh, snake. Something on your mind? Huh? No. No, no, not really. Not, I, I guess... Hey, snake. Uh -huh. Girls are funny, you know? You can never tell what they're thinking. They're, they're always doing their own thing. Maybe they really are different from us men. Well, uh, what's this about now? Chico, do you have a crush on somebody? No, it's not that. I, I just... What? Go ahead. You can talk to me. Whenever I talk to Paz... My heart starts pounding, and, and everything I say comes out wrong. Paz, uh, I guess she is pretty close to your age. That ever happened to you, Snake? Well, sure. Happens to everybody. Well, how do I talk to her? That is a tough one. Um, why don't you try uh, talking to her like you talk to everybody else? No, it doesn't work. I freeze up every time I'm around her. Our eyes meet and, and my face starts burning for some reason. Well, it's like living on the battlefield. You just have to get used to it. Um, her. You're nervous at first, but the more you're out there, the more natural it feels. Get your courage up and go talk to her more often. Oh, okay. Man, girls are more full of mysteries than you amaze. Oh, you got that right. All right, finally, let's talk to Cecile. Talk to her about France. France conducted its first successful nuclear test in the Algerian Sahara in 1960. A lot of French scientists took part in the Manhattan Project. They defected to America to escape wartime occupation. Correct. And once the war was over, they returned to France and continued their own atomic research. President de Gaulle did not want to have to rely on the American nuclear umbrella for protection. Thus making France the world's fourth nuclear power. Some say the test success pacified the Algerian rebels. The civil war was undoubtedly held in check. But never have I equated nuclear weapons with peace. Hello, Snake, Mon Chéri. You've been drinking, Cecile? <sighs> Can't you please do something about this pest? Who? Oh. Monsieur Miller. Uh, what's he done now? Wine. Wine? He said he thought the soldiers might tire of having beer all the time. So he's brought in some wine instead. And then he gave me a bunch. Well, that was nice of him. But the past two years have been bad for French wine. Perhaps it is the bad weather we have had. But whatever the case, I told him the last thing you want to be drinking right now is French wine. Well, California and Chile have good wine, too. But then he goes and stocks the pantry with nothing but French wine from 72. <gasps> the stuff is a disaster. Then he says, Come on, Cecile. Have a taste of the old country. <sighs> I had a terrible feeling about it. So, I decided just to taste it at first. And then again. And then a few more times. <laughs> Took one for the team, huh? But when you do a tasting, don't you usually spit the wine out? But <laughs> bottle after bottle... Nothing but garbage! Absolute garbage! <gasps> Not one half-decent bottle in the whole lot! Test of the old country, he says! Sorry to hear that. Ugh! I cannot believe this! What will we do with all this wine? The guys aren't too picky when it comes to taste. Ugh! You sound just like Monsieur Miller! Huh? When I complained, he simply said... As long as it gets the job done. <sighs> you people are such culinary savages. Allez to vous, Fevois. 
<sighs> Somebody take me back to Paris. Please. Uh, I, uh, think you've had a little too much, Cecile. That girl has lost her rabbit ass mind. But we're done with briefing files for right now. We're gonna get set up for this mission. Actually, we don't even need to set up. Duke is ready. Let's get this mission started. Alright, so the reason why I wanted to do this mission before the date with Paz and the LAV Type G battle is because I wanted to get the Uzi specs. There's some Uzi specs in this mission area. I think they're right over... Yeah, they're right in front of me. You see them floating right there. But I want to get those Uzi specs and get them set up in R&D. And while I'm doing that Date with Paz mission and the LAV Type G battle, then I will be able to have that developing. I wish this thing would get the hell up off the screen. Because I think there's like one more dude up in this area. Or I might have been wrong. I think this is the guy with the... Yeah, here we go. I completely missed this dude. Boy, he was being sneaky, but this is definitely the researcher. You need to get the researcher first, because if you don't, you will get a 30 second penalty. Okay, you're done with that area. Head for the goal. You'll get a 30 second penalty on the end time of this mission. Molten recovery helicopter is complete. Now that you've gotten the researcher out, you can worry about getting the rest Molten of these recovery dudes. Subject confirmed on board helicopter. And I'm gonna kidnap them all. Why not? And let's get up out this area. Alright, I think we got everything up in this area. No prisoners are popping up on the map, so we're good to finish this mission off. <laughs> mission complete. The folks back at Mother Base will be thrilled. It's a pretty simple mission right there. Extra Ops 15 is complete. And we got the S rank. So we got those specs, we got all those enemy soldiers. We got that researcher and the S rank, so that went as well as it possibly could.